Well, excuse me, Matt. I, I didn't realize that we were jumping right into the Legend of Zelda box art. But, Wooly, you knew we were. I kind of <laughs> thought we would go into some other cool shit we talked about next. But we got to get around to that. But everyone right now is uh, breathing wildly. Yeah, no. It's all about that hot, steamy, wild breath. <laughs> that's, on, so, that's on the back of your neck. So, so. We, we might as well get into it. All right. You know what's not dead? The Legend of Zelda. Before the breath was hot and wild, what was it? Nice job, hero. Hey, excuse me, princess. Taking it back to the basics. When you Doesn't saw get... this cartridge or mm -hmm. the box in mm -hmm. a friend's house, and it must have been a friend's house unless you had it yourself. I, n I didn't. I never owned it. So this, you don't get much more basic than this. For me, I didn't uh, own this because the first game we got when we got our Nintendo back in uh, Grenada was Zelda 2. Ah. So the first the best Zelda one. game I played was Zelda 2. Okay. And that's actually probably a good thing. Yeah, I mean, it was fine. It, it, start, was just, it starts you off. Right. It was weird, though, because every time I had seen things of Zelda, it was always top view. <laughs> when you actually played a top view, when you're like, what's this what the bullshit? What is this? Yeah, <laughs> you know, because I was used to the bigger side sprite. This always strikes me as those American covers, like early Dragon Quest games on the NES had realistic props that they took photos of. Yeah. And art and just kind of put it there, but didn't put like anime like characters. They focused on like some like symbols or like items yeah, from, from the game. Absolutely. And the thing is, is if this were a movie, I probably wouldn't go see it. I probably would not. But if this were well. a book cover, I might read it. That is a charming book cover. You know, and that's how I kind of think about this. Is like, yeah, this is a, a tale of Crests and lords and, and kings and, and and keys and and medieval times and the quality assurance from the wizard Nontando. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 not like you know we could have known that all the English and such that comes later. No, I don't like been, though. Hmm? I don't like what? the fact that it's not really gold. It's this kind of muddy beige. Yeah, I think it's because if they went for because you know why the cartridge was gold, but. I feel like uh, they stayed away from gold. Well, I don't know how many, well, how many years. Maybe I'm just bullshitting. Maybe. But Mario 3 was a big yellow yeah, ass no, box. No, it was canary yellow, dude. So maybe they... You'll you fuck with that. So maybe you need a distinction that is far enough from yeah, but big this was bright before, yellow. This was you're right. You're before, right. But you might be right. And the whole it reads as gold enough, but yeah. it's not it's not truly shiny gold. I do like how it's like the legend of in black, then red Zelda, then black text, then the red Nintendo, and like it makes a cohesive sort of thing. It is really basic, mm -hmm. but but there's a, there's there's elegance and simplicity. simplicity to it. Elegance to the simplicity. But absolutely. What did what did, what did even even the tone of of the sentence on this box is like includes invaluable maps. But it's not yelling at you with an exclamation mark. No, it's, just it's not. Stating it's just a, a hey, fact. Hey, if you need them, by the way, we got them. But what did what did Nippon get? Look. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Look at Adventure Bro. So, with his little cross shield. So here's the thing, right? Is yes. is that adult me at this would I'm okay with this. Yeah. Child me probably was like, yeah. but the gold was pretty in this, you know, that was a cool yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. But this as a kid would have been like, whoa! Adventure! Yeah, I, I feel like a boy in Japan in my backwoods just absolutely. wandering around. And there is overgrowth on the font. That's cool, uh, right? The Hyrule Fantasy, and because that's kind of what the the main title looked a bit like yeah. at Moss and coming on the sides. I I wish this series was called the Hyrule Fantasy. It would have been cool. I also wish awesome. the Master Sword looked like that rapier down there. Yeah, a little bit. That looks like it belongs to Raphael. That's not true. Soul I, I don't wish that at all. He has a little dagger there. Yeah, I love how Link is radiating with adventure heat. He, he's got the little aura, and he's kneeling in nothing. He's a giant. He's an Aotan. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, that, but that shot of the map and whatnot it's absolutely cool. screams adventure to you. And, and, 
And what's really cool and important is that you understand by seeing this first what your character is supposed to look like in game. Yeah, because he's top down. So, like, what the fuck does he look like straight on? You so. just, you know what I mean? People interpret Mega Man in all kinds of weird ways, as you oh, saw yes. with those boxes. But yes. here you got to see what the canon art was supposed to be so that your brain goes, yeah, all right. Now, my guy kind of looks like that. Uh, now I know, but uh, I, I like the interpretation of the map and it's kind of an overhead thing. One thing I have to say is that the mountains either look like those weird little chocolates that are shaped like that. They're not like Hershey's Kisses, but there's like a weird name for them. And the ones on the reef look like onions. Yeah, a those, little bit. Those are the only, th that's the only thing in the image. I'm like, you know what? Could you maybe have taken a second pass? Yeah. See, so now that you've committed to it, now I'm way on board. And look, hey, in case you forgot, here's the other logo yeah. from the first game up in the corner. That sword, there is no Zelda game ever that has a sword <laughs> that fucking opulent, but uh, it's still a cool little y sword. Y'all must have forgot. Y'all must have forgot. See, because no, no, no. Now that now that you've created a pattern, I'm super like, okay, no, you're doing a thing now. That's cool. Right? I, I appreciate it. And, and yeah, you got the shield to up there to remind you just in case. You're like, oh, also the gray... Faded uh, gold is now becoming the a thing. pattern. Yeah. Um. This isn't. It doesn't say. It says Zelda two, but like it's got the same text that uh, said the Legend of Zelda, but now it's the Adventure of Link. Yeah, I like that thing. So again, like it feels like part two in a series, the two towers, and like imagine the third game. Like, like let's say there was another NES game that came out, and it'd be called like the Donkey Punch of Ganon. Right. Like that, or <laughs> whatever it'd be. Yeah. Like that would also work. That would have been in cool. this text style. Exactly. Exactly. And I love how, how honest it is with another journey of ultimate challenge because you know Adventure of Link, not an easy game. No. So it's just very straightforward. It's like, hey kids. It's going to fucking be a rough time on your ass. That being said, uh, as elegant as that sword is, yeah, it, it looks nothing like there's, anything. There's some impracticality with that with that handle and that that uh, that cross guard there. But I don't think young me was too obsessed. Neither with it. was I. Um, I definitely because what, like, well, you like you get a, a look at the master and you, and you basically get the idea that it's got a blue handle. Yeah. And that's all you really get. Yeah. It, look, um, it, it looks like fee. But this. Whatever. But this is the sword. I, this is the box I stared at the most. Yeah, well, you, 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 like I you said, admitted it's before. what I had. It was it's literally the one you had. Yeah. Also, doesn't age well when the creases show up on these boxes because yeah. it's a single, uh, single color background. So any any crease like ruins any like, flaws. Stand Good out. Good thing we got high res images here. What happened over in Nippon? Now this is inferior to what we got. I'm gonna say. You think? I think it's inferior because yeah. I think. I think the background is way more boring. I like the Triforce showing up finally, but behind this, him propping up his corpse. But his pose is so awkward. It's a little awkward. And let's get real. Uh oh, well, he's gonna zoom that in. Ass oh, is look at that. Too fat. No, it's fine. Whoop, Don't whoop, worry whoop. about it. Pull over. <laughs> look at this badonk. <laughs> like. Come the fuck on, folks. When was Link rocking it that fat hey, behind there? What uh, are you going to do with all that junk? This would be the Link you would want if you could. <laughs> like, it's fucking out of control. No, He's got the like Triforce on the hand, though. Tattoo. He's got the Triforce on the hand. Go up to that castle there on the top right. I saw some weird shit over there. That castle, I don't know. It's, There's something up with it. It's pretty flat. All it is is spires. It's just spires and one clock tower. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It's the Spire Clock Tower Factory, really. No, it's it's not super particularly impressive. And then a dead tree. Yeah, that says adventure. Um, yeah. I think it's supposed to be foreboding evil. Dude, just okay. Here we're gonna do the trick again. Remember this one? Also, the uh, the um the family computer like thing now is now that like that, that weird that thing. Red and white and beige don't make for the most attractive, colorful box. Uh, I think it's a nice color pattern. It's distinct. It's but very, it's very eighties. Uh, brown, yeah, 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 brown, yeah, brown, 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 red, brown. Yeah, brown. yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I prefer the American box for Link for Lizelle yeah, too. I think I do too. You're right. This fucking rules. Now, why this rules is because it's neat. Because it's the new type of logo they're starting to go yes. for. Yes. But it's still using the beigey gold background, so it's yes. kind of like a melding of the two. And this is a, this is perfect because 
It's like it's showing you the 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 weapons, the sword and shield idea from the first boxes. Yeah. But like now it's got a like a a, 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 a it's now it's like not perfect. The sword and the shield are damaged. There's like and now the sword's it, a little more Zelda y and not yeah, that opulent. Yeah, they're, they're aged, the right? Too. The Triforce is showing up on the shield and on the sword, and it's like it's a part of it now. It doesn't yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. you took a generic piece of fantasy art and then put Zelda in front of it. Man. Like this was clearly made for this game. The black text of the legend of and links awakening is like the fucking font we use for like, uh, uh, LP parts in the thumbnail. Yeah, and some of the text has been like, it's like whatever. So it's, it, it's very, very familiar, but like, but I'm not sure if this is the first one. The links awakening come out before or after link to the past. I can't remember. But it was either this one or Link to the Past that started the cool ass. I'm gonna st- I'm gonna die on the hill that says before. Before, and if I die for the wrong cause, then so be. That's it. fine. But uh, now I'll bury you for the wrong cause. <laughs> but this is this obviously this logo is so fucking classic that it never went away. It, it pretty much didn't. <laughs> or like this font like idea. Yeah. This now. Which is- this is just this is as colorful as you can get. Now we're full on Adventure Island, right? But look um, at Link. He's he's as bright as ever, and like it's pure green and lu- and lush, and it's lots of fun. Uh, you get to see the ball- you get to see the, the windfish yeah, up exactly, there, right? Yeah. Or, or like the egg. Um, and you get to see two the first time two other characters on the screen on the, on the box. Absolutely. I and and you know Kibora and, and stuff like I fucking think that this box rules as well. Um, it also gives you the sense of that he's on like a wacky island, which he is. Yeah. So because you see the the waterway in the background, I love the warp perspective on the sides. Yeah. It's like you're being hurtled towards Link, and he's about to stab you. Like you're being hurtled through the air. I think if Isn't anything, it? the the only and like even the little the the, the resonance going through the air yeah. up top is pretty amazing too, it's representing neat. the musical aspect. Of yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I didn't think I, of that. I think that the the fact that um, I also like the, the like the tree going sides, the trees going sideways and curving in in that fisheye is super dope. The fact that the font is like kind of just uh, um anime adventure font and not like a high fantasy font right, right, kind of right. hurts a little bit a little bit but i think they really wanted to push that island adventure aspect plus i guess the link's awakening like bit on the bottom which is around that like yeah that little island motif you is, is, look is at that. even more wacky adventure they really want you to feel the island adventure you know <laughs> like they're pushing it as hard as possible down here star so. exorcist island adventure i kind of wish that it was uh it was more like a fantasy font uh yeah I, i'd agree but that's but about it really that's yeah. that's my only mild mild complaint I think I think beyond that it's it's fine. I think so too. All right. Next we had Of course, what are you going to there's nothing else to so say. So this is not this is pretty much the same, exact same there's thing. There's nothing to say. Just a link to the in the same font no less. Yeah. The Legend of Zelda. What what what? Perfection. Perfection. Fuck it. Next one. Next one. <laughs> here we go. That's the Super Fami. Now awesome here because now we get that high fantasy logo yes. that I was looking for. Now we get, again, the Triforce showing up there. Bright Triforce, big and yellow. Unlike the first Triforces we saw where there was more de- uh, um, muted behind, uh, like over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, the Triforce right? is like, no, I'm here too now. Big-ass golden Triforce, Super Famicom. I, I do like how Link was drawn at a completely separate time and by a separate person and just slapped on top of, overlaid on top of the bushes. But this was the style at the time. Putting a character like yeah, in that the does front happen. like that is uh, over concept art became a thing around here. It's true. And they don't, they're not so like, they're clearly different styles from each other, but the clash is not as bad as the previous one. It's the super Famicom legend of Zelda. Like it's yes. part of the title. Now. Oh yeah. Oh That's yeah. yeah, yeah. Weird. They were proud. It's like saying super legend of Zelda <laughs> linked to the past. They were, they were, you know, PlayStation, PlayStation all-stars <laughs> proudly <laughs> presents. Um, yeah, no, that's like, that's, that's the two best pieces of art put together yeah. and it's great I, I i think this is a solid ass box it's just weird that japan's not adopting the cool american like logos well we're already on our own path and our that path is like is, graphic is design path. simplicity it's my passion right <laughs> <laughs> that's we're, we're, we're like it's too late to turn back now i guess so here we go we continue and uh yeah here's the cool thing about this right yeah what's is, that again 
we're stuck on this, this path. This is what they chose. We are never going to leave this now. Well, we are going to eventually. But, <laughs> but, but you know what I mean? But like now well we done. now it's now we know what this means. We uh, we want a golden box to represent Zelda. So all we have to do to sell what this new game is is make it 3D. Yeah, I think And then you get it. Looking back on it now, I think it's it, it looks weaker. Like you're, you know, like you've already said a couple times, this was the style at the time. Rendered 3D logos like this totally makes sense at the time. But having looked at the illustrated versions of these logos before, I think they hold up better as illustrations. As, as illustrations, I but agree. like this logo, it just with the master sword going through like that slash of the Z. Yep. Like some guy was tra- drawing it and going, "How am I?" Oh, yeah, and he does yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, look, look, look. Everyone's like, that's the one. The perfectly that's aligned. That's the one. Exactly. Yeah. But but I honestly think that, like, despite the fact that it holds up better as, a, as a, a, like, a flat piece of art or, like, something that's um, not 3D rendered, the 3D rendering purpose, like... The justification is high. Yes, it is. It makes it's the sense. Big three D game. Big three D game for the first big, time for for big three D boys. Yeah, Japan got this. Now Japan uh, now adopting the logo, like I said yep. before. But then Japan just going ah, white fire. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what happened here. Don't um, know. The worst part of this to me, what's the most annoying, <laughs> what is, is the fact that. If you focus over here on the actual like bottom part where the logo is, there appears to be a figure, a figure <laughs> of someone and something behind Maybe. this, or it could just be fire. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if this is silhouette or if this is like maybe they're going from that cutscene where Ganon's walking out of the fire, but and, I don't know. Or or Impa, Car- you know, and Baby yeah. Zelda, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not Little sure, but we will never know because it's obscured by this weird and badly. Go up. Go up. Yeah. What really bothers me is that any horse would be super scared of fire at any time. <laughs> Opponent would be shitting itself. Uh. Really awkward placement on yeah. on this on this fucking uh, opponent on Link over Link, Link on opponent over here. Um, the fact that both of these swords are kind of just pointing yeah. opposite ways, and, and they're are, the master sword, and they're so like close to being aligned, but not exactly aligned. Um, and let's just put our paper filter why not layer over him anyway. Link burning in the fire. Here we go. Now this. Is a great combination of literally everything All of we've them. seen so far. Plus more. Here's yeah. your little ocarina. Here's your harp. Here, you know what I mean? Like it's it's yes, absolutely. This is a great combination of all the above. Like which Link, is unfair because now we're shooting forward into the future. Yeah, but Link right in the middle, like just down below, like this. That's what should kind of go there. He yeah. doesn't need to. You could have uh, made the logo a bit bigger and more center, and just that would have been fine too. But uh, I, th- this is this is what we got. This is the American version. Shield and sword and font still 3D, but not. I like, like this one. But it's this is nice cl- and colorful. Yeah, no, but, no, but like much more like clean. Yeah, and doesn't yeah. look as dated in its 3D. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's just like something about something about. I don't know why Japan uh, so far has been like averting, avoiding, avoiding the gold. Avoiding. Avoiding the gold, but this gold. It's Perfect cool because it's nice, bright gold, and it's even got lighting on it. Yeah, a little bit of like gold shinies. But again, unfair because we're jumping so far forward. You let's know? let let's jump far forward into other territories. Yeah, in PAL and Japan, this is theirs. This is interesting. It's really interesting. It still bugs the shit out of me that he's off to the side, like barely in the shot. Uh, not, not to get too far here, but if you pull a tic tac toe a little bit, right? Um, this center box is oftentimes the most boring place you can put something. Right. But if you choose to put something there, it better be fucking important. And you better have a weight everywhere else around it to counterbalance it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, leaving it empty, you're fine if you choose to put stuff in other areas and you and like again, you weight them across from right. each other. So I get here we that. have this going on, and I, I'm okay with it. Off center is fine. I get that, but there's so much space of nothing in the bottom left where it's just grass and a big ass twelve logo, and I just find that so much negative space of nothing interesting happening. Like the grass 
Like, the camera could have been tilted further down and the grass could have started here if they wanted. Yeah. Like, they could have done a lot of different things, but... What they could have done is put a redead just right there on the left. <laughs> just have it just lurching out and link... That makes sense why he's running off the side. <sighs> it's just over there. <sighs> Give me a hug, Link. Kiss <sighs> me. <laughs> See? It would have been way better. Fixed. All right. Now the one box where I shouldn't have picked purple. Maybe you should have, <laughs> but it's okay. Anyway, it's fine. It's basically invisible. I got nothing to say besides this is creepy. Yeah. This is awesome. I, I like it a bit better than the Ocarina box art just because it's crazier. And, and did you know that the expansion pack is required to play this. Hey, man, some kids didn't know. Yeah, Some no, kids I were guess, too excited, they and, and, and they just didn't pay attention. It kind of looks like you're zooming through space, and then the logo in Majora is just like, hey, I'm here now. Yep. Kind now, of. this is far from the best piece of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask art. It is. all the Majora's Mask art out there with the moon involved and shit looks amazing. It, it, no, very true. But this is a strong-ass box, and here's the thing. Like you, you. So what you said earlier was you like it better than the Ocarina box, for example. Yeah, just because there's more going on. But it only works because As of, of the of, Ocarina yes. box. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're totally it would right. not work on its own. It plays off of that, and yeah. it makes it weird. We replace all of that gold with just creepy nightmare juice, <laughs> just seeping out. Right. And then we get your shield and sword of like nobility and honor replaced with holy fuck. <laughs> It's like a heart, but it's super creepy, right? And it's no longer the comforting colors of the past in red, but now it's fucking purple and poisonous and dank and nightmarish. Uh, it's great. J Japan and some other countries, like purple is the color of death. I believe it. So so I think they're just trying to, yeah, create a foreboding atmosphere in general for, for at least in that purpose, because the expansion pack is required. <laughs> you know, cartoons would have you believe that farts are green, but I That's believe that, farts are purple. are purple. I believe, I believe they're purple. To be fair, for this, for Majora's Mask box art, you've been just fine if it was just a hentai image of Fierce Deity just laying out. I mean, really, the whole box could have just been his abs. <laughs> just, just a nice in. big shot. Just, yeah, there you right. go. Fixed. Done. <laughs> like maybe a hint of like an arm like over here. A and whiff. then like he's holding the first bottom rung of like the fierce deity sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. I see you. I see you drawing the, That's the... it. Here we go. So this is what I'm talking about. This shit is immaculate. It, it really is. Uh, I personally think this... I, I, I kind of prefer this to the American one just because at first you're like, oh, there's a lot going on. You're like, wait, no, Link is the prominent one in here because he's colored like like fully. Then everyone else is kind of there. All the other like uh, characters and versions of himself he can turn in. And it's got that nice like ombre color up of green to blue to purple. And the Legend of Zelda logo, like it's a bit brighter here, so it stands out even more. Like I think it looks real nice. So here's here's where I'm here here's here's the thing about this, right? What? It is here's how awesome this is. There is a rainbow gradient yeah. happening in the background, and it still feels dark. Yes, because <laughs> the other color being used a lot is black. You like put black a rainbow on your box, and it still feels dark, menacing, creepy, and awful. That's fucking amazing. amazing. How are they able to? That do is it? Uh, like that is so strong. We are so lucky to be living in this world, right? You are a, a, a happy-go-lucky boy on your adventure, at least for the first two minutes, and that's the end of happiness on this box. Although Pona looks like everybody she's not fun, though. is fucking Weird. upset. No one Depressed. is having a good time over here. No one. This is insanity. That doesn't count as a good time. <laughs> You know what I mean? Fucking Epona is so done with your shit. <laughs> yeah. This is the only happy idiot, and he's only happy because he hasn't turned into this, this yet. yet. Yeah, exactly. This he's box like, rules. Oh, what you got coming? What you got? The only part that kind of sticks out is the red 
like little like ends of characters at the very very bottom. Yeah, it kind of sticks out. Looks a little strange. But, but you needed but you needed to complete the gradient. Yeah, you, you, right? I guess yeah. Because the top of this purple is red. Yeah, you know, it's like right off right off of his little feather hat hair over here. You come back down to the red that's around this level. I, I bet I bet you somewhere I don't know where, but something's screaming at you about the expansion pack <laughs> at the bottom there. Probably what the, yeah. expansion pack. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this what you're talking about? God damn. Look how nice everything is just centered God and looks damn. super good. Yeah. B because it's more, but, but, it, but, but like, obviously, but here it's more than centered. Yeah, it, is, yeah. it is like we are, the eye is traveling, right? No one's looking at the, at the, at the moon crashing. It's headed that way. Everyone's like, nah, let's do the group shot over here. Absolutely. Let's and, do it. But like the moon is taking the place of like you know the villain back shot yeah where the villain is staring over the shoulder at you like like geese or, or like bison or vegeta you're vegeta yeah the moon is doing that right he's got his purpose uh logo is as sharp as it'll ever and there's be. a nice like new texture on it that looks better i think and fucking skull kid you know like he's doing it that's your center of attention man one thing i have to say though is that it doesn't have a, a sinister of an air as the other ones like the moon's you know obviously terrifying um, but everyone else kind of just looks a little bit more yeah everyone all the faces down here are having a good time right because <laughs> we're here we're seeing all the happy villagers yeah, termina. despite the fact that they're about to die yes. everyone looks like they're they're okay unlike the the, the previous one where everyone looked like right? a bad time even link is kind of like yeah i'm coming for you <laughs> motherfucker right yeah. like he knows with his uh his agony like stone of agony mask there um but the I think that the evil of this logo and the still, evil of still, the moon still more than down. makes up for it. You're right. You're right. I just think there's a nice balance now. Sure. But let's say we take the collective happiness of everyone in Termina. <laughs> yes. Put it in a juicer. This <laughs> is 30% of you're the right. box. Okay. Okay. This <laughs> Th that's, that's, that's is 70%. the rest of it. You're and right, it's right. fucking menacing. Yeah. Okay. I can see it. Go, 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 go. Ah. So there's so actually, weirdly, a couple of versions of this because there was a re-release where they did they did a different gold background, or one that was slightly more colorful, but the differences were barely there. We're not capturing the reflectiveness of this, by yeah, the way. Yeah, because you get a version of this that reflected the fuck off it. Like, yeah. you could blind old ladies with it. Uh, so they're doing here what they, I, what they, I guess, wanted to do with the Japanese uh, um, ocarina box, yeah. By kind of like bringing the silhouette in again, or not silhouette, but the uh, the faded image of Link going on his adventure. Um, King of Red Lines, part of the logo. He's there, and he's there again. There again, probably Almost. not necessary. Probably not because it just it creates a weird mirror over here that you don't really need. The actual, um, the actual logo, I've never been, like, the biggest fan of it, and I don't know exactly why. I don't think the image of the King of Red Lions and the little wave works as well in the in the kind of, like, thing they've been doing before is wrap shit around the Z. And the Wind Waker, that font really bothers me, because when I look at it, all I can think about is Lord of the Rings. Absolutely. And, here's and it just kind of, it doesn't mesh and, super well. And... Uh, it also rightfully should bother you because it, this is a super overused font. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. Uh, I forgot its name, but it's fucking in there. I think it's Shire. And it's just <laughs> not great. But no. these waves are fantastic. No, they're they're cool and stylized. This think, is cool, this little tail like, here. All of that's fine. The Wind Waker font is like supposed to be kind of Celtic, maybe. Like maybe that's what it's going for, and that there is like sort of those Celtic themes in well, Wind Waker. Well, the first thing you hear sounds super like like yeah. someone should be dancing around the bar table. Woo! So, I get why they used it, but it just doesn't like yeah, it's super overused, and when I see it I think of other stuff. Yeah. Here is the Japanese one. Now check out weird. how much is different. Weird, interesting, but weird. Yeah, it is. Fa uh, uh, they get a, a way a way cooler font down here. I I think so. It's pretty busy, but I think it works. Now you see it's, the Japanese is overlaid on top of the waves, which is kind of weird. It, it, but it's fine because the Japanese is also waving in itself. In, in, into its own, yeah. Right? Okay. When your font itself is part of the wave, you don't really need to worry about the fact that the waves are covered. Yeah. 
Um, and the background has like bits of the story, like the tapestries that that play in the the start of Wind Waker, which is neat. Although I kind of like they they're also kind of distract a, from a little bit, like the way that they go from blue to pink. It kind of like I don't know. It, I don't think it works super super well, but it is neat. I'm a fan of dot tone, and I'm a fan of yeah, pop art, cool. and I think that this looks really cool on Link. Yeah, it does. but I don't know why it's here. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's true. a bit random of a choice because the cell shade in the game doesn't look like at that. all, and yeah. like there are filters that let cell shading do that, or maybe they didn't I, exist I, back then. Maybe not, but, but there, like, there it's, were. It's like the the one thing you want to push is Eventually. the in game art, and this is what the character looks like. But then why would you put a dot tone on? That? I don't know. No, it doesn't look bad. It's just a strange choice, Very and I agree. These colors should probably be inverted. Maybe. Um, I don't know, but like the blue conveys the idea of riding the waves. It's still neat box art somehow. I get it. I get it. It's very watery, and there's the map yeah, behind yeah. it, right? It's water, 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 coral reef. There's a lot of water in Wind Waker. Have you played it lately? Hmm. This is like quite hmm. a bit more than most games. Um, but it, yeah, it, it just it, it it washes a little bit weird with him here, and his even his colors are off. Right? Yeah, he's, this he's, green he's, is like little. Uh, is little too desaturated. Both of these greens are too desaturated. This should be way more of a of a, a yeah. bright, like it's, it's still forest green, but yeah, yeah up to saturation. Oh, that part in Wind Waker where they're like, "Here's the suit you gotta wear," and he looks at it, and he's like, "Oh fuck, yeah. it's <laughs> fucking awful." Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and here's perfected. The redux. Here's the Redux. Look at that. It's it's the same pose, but now he doesn't have the, the doesn't have the dots on him. No, and the art style and the lighting look much more look, like, consistent. Look, there's there's Ganon doing the moon pose. Yeah, that you just I talked told about. you. You that, told me, right? And then That's you got crazy. and then you got all the shit that you're gonna kill up over here. Like, you got Valu. You got Valu representing Helmarok King, right? They're for scale, birds for scale. Yeah, Dragons Ganon's for scale. massive, right? <laughs> it's fucking great. Look at him coveting that win. God Emperor coveting the shit out of that win. That win be my boy. <laughs> fucking stab you in the head because I fucking love you. And it just does such a good job of like, here, look at all these, look at these crazy cast of characters. Everyone's kind of having fun because for the most part, Wind Waker is like. Just kind of this more lighthearted adventure until the part that Wooly's drawing happens. This is this is my box. <laughs> just zoom in and fucking just show just just crop the whole thing right here. Yeah. And just go, yo fucking Z. <laughs> L-O-Z. The, the the gold stuff that they're doing now is now like done super well, where it's like different tones of gold. It's excellent. Yeah. The gold continues. Oh, it's still part of the box. Globe. They're on a globe. I didn't I didn't realize that until it's now. It's fucking fantastic, and Link stands out go, as he should. Go down the logo. I just want to see did what they do with it. Kept it the same. Kept it the same. I think the colors are a bit nicer. They yeah. they but other than that, it's like yes. Yeah, I think HD is fucking ugly. Yep. It sticks out like every almost every HD collection has a big dumb yep. HD like that. I know that, we're, that you're supposed to do that. That's fine, but it's not worked into the logo well at all. And at least when they have to repeat the King of Red Lions, he's like a little thing over here. Yeah, he's not like he's the exact it. same <laughs> pose as as he was size. before. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's all good. This is an excellent fucking box. It really is. <laughs> Here we got the Minish Cap. Strong character art. Weak background. Okay, that little scrap of of whatever that uh, bandage on the sword mm -hmm. that looks horrendous. That <laughs> render that looks like how I used to fucking color in yeah. two thousand and two. Yeah, that because I'll tell you exactly what that is. Actually, that is when you go into Illustrator gradient. and you you create a gradient mesh. Yeah. Right, and then you don't actually do anything. Anything. <laughs> you don't do anything to it. You keep you keep a default gradient mesh. Uh, I, I I think the aside from that, like, look how much there's actually going on. There's a brick background. On top of the brick background is, I guess, a shield or like an image of a shield painted onto the brick. Then we have a logo. Then we have Link on top of that. Mm -hmm. And there's just one of those elements could not have been there. Either that weird like shield logo. Or the brick wall, because it's just layers and layers of stuff on top of each other, and it's just, it doesn't work super Link well. Link has I a find. slight stone texture on top of him as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like Capcom or whoever designed that logo, since Capcom made Minish Cap, I like I hope someone was fired for that. Okay. Now this is like GBA boxes in Japan 
with like these little like rectangles like this. And this I think is just a different logo, not that fucking ugly ass sword anymore. Uh, B and- the whole box is now a scene. Right? Yeah, the whole mean? box is is connect. It's not like floating art or faces. It's actually like a moment that happens, and and the scale, the fucking uh, acorn, right? It's showing you what you're doing in the game, which is you're gonna be shrinking, shrinking. down. It's dude is excellent. Yeah, absolutely great. And it I love conveys that idea right away. It conveys the idea of Link just looking up at his hat, going, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I forgot the name of that race. The uh, the fucking uh, the the the. Uh, no, not Pikmin. It's something close to that. Whatever. Yeah. That's yeah, they're called. yeah. God damn it. But those, you know what I mean? And you, you got those being introduced. You don't even know what your villain is because you assume that it's the camera. <laughs> right? The, whatever yeah, it is, <laughs> everyone's afraid of it and it's huge. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's normal sized. <laughs> uh, it's you not forgot. Even- it's not even fair. It's really not fair. Because before you even do anything, like... <laughs> Like it, it, like already Link by default just looks cool because he's he's, he's got the fucking dude edge and he's got the ragged hair and the the the, the, the ear Very painterly it. style. You know what I mean? So like before any elements even matter, you you're already looking at like a cool older character. Yes. Right. And then you're like, no, we need it even cooler though. So let's put a fucking wolf on and the other look, side. It looks like the fucking berserk spirit from the guts is berserk. And the wolf armor. is freaking out. And losing its shit, and you, know, <sighs> and you know he's got the earring, so you know it's the same one. Yeah, and of course the slash in between is like also in case you really didn't get it, Durr. you turn to wolf, dude. Night and day, fucking light world, dark world, etc. If I have to say anything, don't like Twilight Princess font. It nope. again looks like a lazy very font much that so. they just picked up out of nowhere. But the but the uh, the graphic behind the logo that is. Um, uh, the like, wolf, wolf Link and Midna's helmet, helmet is fucking fantastic. Yeah, and cool. if you just took that logo, right, with this icon and this and this behind it, dropped it on a white box, fucking Final Fantasy. That yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. It is very similar, actually. This is Japan's version of the box. Uh, I couldn't find one of the GameCube version, but it was the same. I found a really low res version of it but this is basically what japan's twilight princess for the wii and the gamecube look like now <sighs> this is one of my favorite like general link illustrations ever it's like what i usually think of when i think of twilight princess and i think this works because well, super- this, this is the this, this is, is the wall one. scroll you have yeah well i used to but uh for a long ass time i think this box art is incredible and it works in a different way where it's more like light and dark where like very very stark contrast compared to the last one, which is yep. all desaturated, and a bit of gold and a bit of dark. But this is like Link's body's framing that cro- like that that d- divide works really well. At first, I was, you're like, eh, you're like, no, it actually covers up. I think the white is losing out to the the dark side there. Like there's a bit more real estate for the darkness. But so the cool the thing about this is that like you would expect that this would be gold over here, but instead they went with white. But they kept all the regal Hylian textures. Yeah, it's still the same stuff. That looks great, right? That on its own looks fantastic, especially just so happens to be with the Wii's so already that white works motif, well too, right? Yeah. Underneath him, you got the Twilight, the uh, the twi- Twilight, Twili, whatever. Just the Twilight. You know what I mean? But you, exactly. And you've got that realm Midna and its and, and its and its pixelization effects being represented, which is dope. Um, and you, yeah, you create that contrast. Here's what sucks: mm-hmm. the color that it's going into is bland and boring and terrible. I A fucking bit, yeah. I hate this gradient. And that alone, and because it's fifty percent of the thing, it's I I think this is a weaker box than the last one. All Fuck. right. All right. Now this is a goddamn masterpiece because <laughs> it's really ju- you got all the warriors on this box art and they look in, like in their they're in their best moments, right? Literally, yes. I can't. Be- Minda certainly is. She's got both her best moments. Exactly, and like Zelda, right? You got one going up. You got one down here. You got this the dog in the hey, middle. Like, what do you want from and you, me? And you got Ganon and his rival. Uh, What's her name again? <laughs> Ilya. Ilya. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was right. forgetting her name. And then you've got, and like, you've got both main characters here. Like, if you look, if you just glanced over at this, you'd be like, oh shit, there's two characters now. It's a two player yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
Epona's looking strong. Very regal. And this and What the, a good girl. And the fact that it's all like a very painterly, like uh, um you're getting the canvas texture, right? On on the uh on the the figures in the background. Yeah. But these figures in the foreground are are like glowing and still stand out. Brilliant. Awesome, beautiful, and then you go down here, and they're still going with yeah. the Hylian side that has the the regal stuff, and then the Twilight Realm with yep. its glowing neon Tron shit. And I do have to say, the HD, while still a little like, eh, at is much it, better at than Wind Waker. At, at least, least it, it matches the font. Yeah, it, you know what I'd like to see. It wasn't a some, Future Shop sticker. Yeah, exactly. That's what I feel like it is. You know what I'd like to have seen? Like, uh, zoom out for a second. I would have also loved to have seen an alternate version where it was just Adult Midna and Zelda. On either side and get rid of all the other characters just to see how that would look like like make them a bit more prominent and just have that that like half and half of just Minda yeah. and Zelda just to see all right so here we got the redux yeah this is the pal S version same idea of the last one but now you're it, kind it of doing both both concepts and I think it personally it's a little messier yep it doesn't work as well because it's not meant to right <laughs> Yeah. The wolf and Link are meant to be touching and on the same side opposed to each other. L Zelda and Midna are meant to be touching and now they've been positioned to be kind of behind the figures. It kind of looks like Midna's growing out of the back of Link's uh, hat. Like a growth. It's really <laughs> weird and I don't I mean, it doesn't work, Guato. right? Right? Uh, Epona over here, you know that Link is sitting on his back, but he's just positioned weirdly. Like it's just like oh yeah no, by did the way they get rid of him Zuma he's not there they but, they got rid of him he'd be on that part of the saddle but they're just like him. by the way there's a horse in this game and here it is you know like it, it just positioned in a, and he's got no counterpoint yeah uh, and then of course you've got just well here you go sexy midna for you yeah so it's no this is someone weakly trying to capture the same idea so much stuff you could have gotten of rid failing. of like. All of it, basically, yeah. and, and this is a page one redo. I, I mean, I respect the attempt because the logo is here, right? The logo yeah. forms your centerpiece over here, and then instead of positioning things to the left and right, they tried to create a balanced circle, and it didn't really work. They tried, you know, and I and I see the effort there, but no, it doesn't work. No. This is fun. Um, I, I I think that the uh, again the wave idea works really strong one because it was nice when it was down beneath the logo like oh, like in wind waker but yeah. now it's coming off to the sides around the main art and that's pretty cool okay Willie, will you help me give a hand job <laughs> to whoever said how about the o of phantom and the o of hourglass form an hourglass that's really cool will you help me with this task that's really cool <laughs> it's real good i just noticed it just now yeah like uh, to be fair, Link should be gone from this box art. Just have line back. He's the hero. This is fucking brilliance right here. I mean, he's, he's the best. He's taller and bigger, and, and he's basically Stronger. taking it for himself. More Link is heroic. sticking his, his sword out to like... That's an awkward pose. He's sticking the sword out to block Linebeck from taking his <laughs> shine. shine. It's true. You know? The one thing I kind of find it weird is that they use the, the ghost ship, which is an important part of the game, but I thought they'd use the ocean temple, since that's the main thing you're working towards is the background image. But well, it does at least make you go, oh, Wind Waker, because ships. Yes, and I think that the, that that idea is carried over in the fact that the, the treasure map background yeah, is happening Yeah, yeah, that's there. true. That's you've true. got the boat, you've got the compass. This <laughs> is different, at least. Yeah, this is a bright-ass cartoon show that uh, would be coming on on Saturday morning. Uh, I Lineback think, and his slave boy, Link. I think it's interesting, because it's like this is a bit like the first box versus the first box yeah. for America versus Japan. Kind of. Right, we're going back to big old wet adventure <laughs> versus... Sopping. Versus, like, f adventure, but, like, fantasy and, and, you know, like, I guess, and the and the, the, the gold and the, the more muted images. Like, I, I it's a bit odd how much different this color choice is. I still like it, though. I still think it's really strong. It reminds me a lot of, like, um, a good old Studio Ghibli uh, a piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in yeah, terms yeah. of well, how bright the colors are. Does. But I will say this, that the logo works way better on a bright blue colorful background than it does on uh, oh, on this. I think it works way better uh, on the color yeah, than it does on that. the gold. But look, even Japan gets a little hourglass. Look, they have a little hourglass. <gasps> oh my middle. god, That's crazy. they do! 
Wow. I yeah. don't know if that's a real Japanese character or not, but um, I'm sure it's a stylized version of uh, what would usually just be a square. By the way, how long is this title? What? What? Hmm. Hmm. It says here that it's Zerda no Densetsu, Mugen no Sudan Koi. <laughs> so, yeah. No, it's here's what it is. Um, this just says. Oh no, wait. <laughs> I, I, I kind of think that the, the at least the logo could have been moved a little. I know I'm harping on about this, mm -hmm. but there's just like two extra waves you don't really need there. And maybe like another that uh, like that castle, that uh, that landmass behind Link. Yep. Why not move that to the to the right? Because you already have them taking up the space with the boat so on the left side. So you're saying take this and move it where? No, the landmass behind Link, the big one, the big oh, cliff. Oh, this. Like move that to the move that to oh, the. Oh, I see uh, what you're right. saying. Because they're already taking up that sp that side. Yeah. So when I see a big old Full Metal Alchemist, fucking, uh, a homunculus circle going on over here. Yes. And I'm like, we need to give an arm and a leg to get Fee back. Then I'm like, I I I, I think don't know pretty. if I would do that though. No, I don't think many people. No, would. I don't think so. Uh, you know what though? I will say that um. This is, it's pretty. It's nice. We have the cool new art style being represented here. I do, I always do, did like the the Skyward Sword art style, the, the kind of watercolor. Uh, watercoloring, yeah, like sort of underpinnings of it. Uh, I kind of don't like the actual general logo. Okay. It, they're, they're not working that much of stuff on the Z anymore. Going on back here. Yeah, right? I, I just don't know if that's that was part of the actual full logo or if that Triforce is just put by the box side. I don't like Skyward Sword. Yeah, it's, like it's font a little, it's too at all. shiny, too bubbly. Too, like they have a really hard time with their the, subtitle they, fonts. They, 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 they constantly struggle. They've been fails most of the time. Most of them. It's true. It's I, true. I think the only one we liked was Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, I think so. You know? Skyward Sword, like it's blue because sky. I get. I yeah. get that. That makes sense. But it doesn't mesh well with, with the gray mossy uh, emblem of of Hyrule and the Legend of Zelda. And and, and usually we the Jap Japanese ones end up looking better. And it's not and it's not about like whether we can read it or not. It's the fact that like the Japanese ones haven't been soft and bubbly. The sky. And who are we fighting? Oh, okay. That there. Thank you for letting me know who we're fighting. Cool. I, you know, I don't usually go in for for floating faces, but in works, this case, it, it's I fine. Think it works here. But the fucking game is about. Flying and soaring and through the sky. And he's literally pointing the sword. Now, one thing I can see see already is that I think that lens flare on that sword a little a little overboard. That's a shitty Photoshop lens flare. Let's yeah, not let's bit. not mince words. But I'm re like when you hear when you know what the game is, you know that like the world is floating cities and people flying on birds. Yeah. You can do a million interesting things with that idea that are not. And look, li oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Right. Look, look, Link is fading. Like I said, but like I wanted before. You can see his boot there. His, yeah. his, his right boot. I think that works a little bit better where he just doesn't get like killed off at the knee. Yeah. Um. Fee, you know, floating over here. Garyum floating over here. The weakest parts of the box, right? Yeah. They could have been incorporated in stronger ways without just being that. Um, I think maybe but Because even of the watercolor art style, I think it all, like, the textures all kind of flow together well enough. If they weren't in this art style and now the splotchy watercolors, I think they would have stand out even worse. I would have dropped both of them down to here, and I would have had them facing outwards, Oh, yeah, okay, I can see that. Right? I would have done this with it, uh, and then kept the space above over here clear yeah. for this awesome uh, uh, fisheye shot Lens. in the sky. Sure, yeah, no, that could have worked, too. But but you can't fucking ignore the amazing box premise, should have been man. blue. Should have been blue. This, this was the Japanese, and I think, Euro box. I'm like, oh, I kind of wish I got this one. Yes! Every episode of the Box Art Critique has to have a winner. That like has, like the like the unabashed winner like destroyed everything else. I'm trying to find flaws. flaws I can't. I honestly can't. Like, I I want to tell my friends and family about this. I want to protect it. <laughs> I want to see it grow up strong and healthy. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Fucking perfection. Okay. So Hyrule Warriors, strange enough, absolutely no changes between all the territories. Because they're like, I think we got it, guys. <laughs> I think we're good. All right. Well, for starters, um, yeah, 
everybody gets what's going on over here. What are we doing in this? We're taking the word Hyrule and we're putting it in the Zelda font. Are we hitting things? And then we're taking the warrior's word and then we're putting the sword that would go there, except it's a fucking master sword and we put the scarf because that's an iconic. Because the, the fucking done. scarf looks... Simple, yeah. done, easy, day one. Anyone could have nailed that. It's an easy thing to do and it's always going to look good. You can't... Like, that's a hard thing to fuck up. Yeah, it really is. When you have two series ongoing with their own traditions. This actual background, yeah, that is fine. Uh, There's a lot going on. I, I feel like, because uh, these are basically, this is CG models that have been uh, like posed like, posed and painted over. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think artwork would have been the strongest way to go. It's it's really close to just like being just artwork in general. But you can tell it's 3D models. Yeah, I guess so. Get this chick the fuck out. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm with you on that. Can we get giant badass dreadlocked Zel uh, Ganon? No? Okay, I'll oh, take could, that. Could we get the coolest version of Impa? Could no. we get that? Could, no? no? Okay. No. Can, we get Lana. can we get Linkle? Can we get... Uh... Uh, Linkle, I, Linkle is Lana done better. Like, because Linkle's kind of goofy. Yeah. And, but I like Linkle more. Like, but to be fair, Linkle didn't exist when I know, this boxer came out. I know, but I, I, just, I just want literally any other character besides her. Yeah. All right, now we get into the urine-soaked boxes of <laughs> the, the Deus Ex boxes. Right now we're full on. We're more than gold now. We are fucking so piss yellow. So in the the European and uh, I think Japanese versions, it's this exact same box box art, but in color. Okay, so that's the only difference. But I I kind of felt like let's talk about this one because so much gold now. Yeah, overflowing. Yeah, and and two two gold because Maybe. this is now hitting like the gold plated um etchings level of gold yeah where you know again like gold. this when you like the the actual the actual gold of the triforce doesn't look gold anymore because yeah. you're too busy looking at the piss colored yellow uh, uh master <laughs> sword that being said the actual events occurring on the box sure I, I could have actually done without the tablet. I know it's trying to show what you do in the game, but I could have done without that that no, bit of the wall. With I like Link it. There. I like it a lot because you would look at this otherwise and be like, "Okay, I get that there's a piece of art of Link. Uh, I get there's just like old Link art here, but why is Link himself not drawn on the box? Why is it this weird thing?" And it's like because that's actually him in gameplay. No, no, I know, but I I, I know that's why they put it there. But I think it al almost like it would have made it for a better illustration if that wasn't there and the focus was all on the sword. Just a generic. Just, uh, yeah. Eh, I think it's fine. I think it's an interesting way of like conveying the game idea while make sure making sure that you would look at this and not be uncertain which Zelda game this came from. Because if you didn't have that there and then it was just that, you'd be like, yeah, what Zelda game is that? It could literally be any of them. Well, I mean, it's a link between worlds. <laughs> <laughs> we can't move on without acknowledging the Triforce and the Black Force. And then Force. it's evil shadowed force. The Black Force. The Black Force. Okay. Yes. We need to acknowledge how great that is. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm a fan of the Black Force. Yeah. <laughs> That's strong. When are we gonna get a black link? He uses the black force. We are we're fucking looking at it, <laughs> but they didn't use it to its full potential. <laughs> Put a bookmark in that joke. We'll be back yeah, for we'll that one later. We'll be back for you. <laughs> so there's two box arts left. Why you gotta hurt me like this? You know what? You say that. I am still shocked with how decent these are. In terms of who made them right, and what look. they are. Yeah. I you, always felt when I first saw these, I'm like, hey, that looks like a Legend of Zelda game. All right. Listen up. Yes. What, what do you What do you have? What do you got for me? Purple, green, and orange are my favorite colors. So this is de facto your favorite. I don't hate this. Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> I know you don't. I asshole. don't hate this. <laughs> what, I, what I do hate is what the fuck is this printed on? That's not a Triforce. The, the the big green the big green shape that that link I is in it's a diamond it's a it's a it's, random it's, diamond it's a generic diamond uh, with a little crown a why? little chapeau why 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 do we have a little uh, Chow Zhu hat <laughs> yeah over yeah, here that's exactly what it is right I do like I do like that this box art conveys an insidious evil sense much like the Majora's <gasps> Mask box art. <laughs> 
not Chaozu. Sorry, I, I hear you. I hear you. Yes, it does look evil. And oh no, some Go- Gohan. Gohan. Young Gohan with his little dragon ball over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. But I get the sense of dread looking at this cast of creepy pervos. All these weird monsters inside the reality slash that Link is doing this the spin slash I don't know. Now I I it, it's a reality. Can you find Ganon? He's in here somewhere. Well, hold on, hold on a minute. Look, there's there's Twilight Princess Wolf Link. Yeah, because we also like I get that your art is going for a nose and a mouth, but you kind of just drew a nose mouth and yeah, you gave Link a good beach. old nose mouth. Why does your nose face look like your mouth butt? It's super weird and I don't like it. I don't. Yeah, it's Simpsons. And that's a background from the game. This this green like tiki. Oh, of course it is. That's they just they took a screenshot. Which is of the why game. it looks as terrible as it does. Please don't tell me this is Ganon. No, no, I don't think he's there actually. Okay. I was lying. I lied. Also, this fucking spark is shit. <laughs> Famous last words. This fucking spark is shit. Cause what did he did he did he hit his shield and then spin around and go ha? The worst. It's shit. Who wants to look at that? <laughs> it's so much worse. And this is the exact opposite problem. <laughs> okay, look at the thing on the top now. What is happening with the diamond? The diamond now has some type of growth that was inside it, and it's bursting out of the top and it's giving birth to another smaller diamond there was a tumor in that diamond and the tumor contained a smaller diamond that's correct and it's the type of diamond you shoot your arrows at to open okay. the door is that stalfo what is this creature is it a mummy skeleton chef I mean, uh, I mean, is look. this a mummy skeleton chef answer yes or no both <laughs> Now, now, uh, whatever. My cakes are burned. Sure, lady. I think that's Ganon. Like, is I that think, Ganon? I, I think that's Ganon hiding meekly behind a giant jelly bean. Because I might want to fight you, but I'm not sure. <laughs> you dare bring light to my lair? You must die. Okay, that Zelda drawing's oh boy. not that, that Zelda drawing's not that bad. Yeah, you know, just her, it's not that bad. No, just put I've her, drawn worse. Yeah, you just drop her mouth. Like her face is not it works. It's not great. The parts are the parts bad. are in the wrong places. Okay, but, so is she holding a whip? Look, she's holding a little Yeah, thing. I mean she might it's a wand. Like a it's the wand sword. of Damelon. <laughs> Calm down. But it's not. And that's what I was going to say is that the first Link, the first Zelda game had the gold background with the shield. The second yes. Zelda game had the sword added on and they're like, all right, I guess we're committed, right? Yeah. Well, over at Phillips, they felt the exact same way about this shit. Yeah, they did. They but then they proud. maybe they thought better of it and went, oh, no, we can maybe steer out of it. And then we got this. So this, I have to assume, is a stolen illustration from page 325 of some random D&D &D manual. Come on. It could be. Come on. It could be a Prince of Persia. Tell me. Tell me that you don't fucking see. No, this, see. this reminds me of like uh, the uh, Wolfenstein Spear of Destiny expansion was just a shot of a castle with an ominous light coming out of it. The little cute little thunderbolt. Lightning bolt coming down. What is happening? You're looking over. This is so. This is clearly a tower, which means that you know you're looking at the edge of a cliffside. I guess. And if there were a grid, it would look like this, and then you would have this that like you know connected to the tower. And then we all know but that is that the sky or is that mist? Well, look, we all know that this if this is the ground, then therefore further off in the distance would be you know the ocean, right? Like the ocean I would guess. be here. And then, so this is just, you know, the regular sideways lightning. Yeah, famous, yeah. <laughs> famous. Famous sideways lightning that it doesn't happen often. It's kind of like ball lightning. You can't really track it. You know, scientists are still trying to figure out what the deal <laughs> the, the is. The phenomenon of sideways lightning. But as you know, it does happen every now and then. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's all we're doing is we're just, you know, like, look, the, the, math, li the math adds up. Yeah, th this right? also seems like it could be the the window at which Phillips producers threw themselves out upon completion of the of these, Perhaps. these video games. But you know we Side oh sideways lightning, please hit me on the way down. We need to investigate more. 
the phenomenon There's of sideway still lightning. There's so many questions. Unclear. We know. We don't know. This box has just cracked the surface <laughs> of the mysterious phenomenon that is sideways we lightning. We can unlock the world. I believe in Phillips. Keep digging. Well, it took us a long way. And is there a flaw? <laughs> See the. The, the thing. Look, look, they got the subtitle looking cool. They got the subtitle looking cool. You know I just why? Realized. You know why? why? Because they gave up. Yeah, they gave up. They said, you know what? Fuck it. The subtitle is the same font as the big one. It's almost Shut as up. if we're the biggest idiots. Shut up. It's fine. Look, our little boy is back and he's looking at adventure once again. Is that the Calamity Ganon over yes, there? Yes, that's fucking Calamity Ganon. Okay. Now... Uh, I guess the one thing we're missing here is the side-by-side -side with the piece of art that inspired this, which is the original Link from Zelda 1. Yeah, that little giant of him looking, looking out over, over Hyrule. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because this is just, we're going back to that. And, oh, like, well, let's just make mention now, Nintendo Switch boxes, amazing, and that, like, hey, you know what you want to look at? Art. And that's for about 98%. it. For 98%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it, we're gonna just shove ourselves up here. You just look at the art. Amazing. You, no tunic required. It's all new. It's all fucking great. And you're... Yeah, just... What are you, what are you gonna what are you, say? What are you gonna what? I can Fuck. feel the you, you? I can feel the chills of the breath on my spine. Fine. It's breathing a the hot breath. <sighs> <sighs> feel that shit. The only thing that keeps the breath away is the black force. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be continued on the fucking Black Force.